Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we were exploring the cinema, which for some strange reason has the apartments attached to it. Or is it an apartment block with a cinema built in? I don't know. Anywho, um, I've been having some problems with my uh, uh, Retro Fighter control pad, so I've actually switched back over to my one of my original Dreamcast control pads. I've got like six of them. Uh, about three or four, no, about three of them, I would say, are actually brand new, out of box, never used. So I'm using a brand newish one, um, which is interesting because it means I get to go back to analog control because the Retro Fighter analog stick does not work in this game. For some reason, it kind of stops, starts kind of like this all the time. Um, this is the only game that I've tried that it does that on. So anyway, I'm going to get in touch with them and try and try and get it replaced anyway because 50 pounds for a brand new control pad that doesn't really work is not a good deal um so <clears throat> in the last episode we pretty much explored all of this area apart from one room now this is a great room to grind it really is also you might hear oh god we're getting well and truly gangbanged here you might hear um, some rattling. I have noticed that with the official Dreamcast vibration pack, the OG controllers really rattle and sound horrible, whereas the Retro Fighters does not. Uh, which is another interesting fact that I found. Right, we really got ganked there, hardcore. Now, um, in the last video, we actually missed out that room there on the on the right. Remember, I was running around for ages saying, Gee, I wish that we could find a save room. Oh, Titan, you silly fool. The one room that we didn't try in this uh, complex is a save room. Would you believe it? Ah, never mind. Yeah, it's strange to use this game in analog mode again because this game's analog mode, as I've said, is weird, man. It's really weird. Uh, we don't have a lot of this game left either because um, I've just run through the whole game pretty much, well, two days ago, actually, <laughs> uh, testing the control pad out and mm, definitely whatever funk is going on with it is getting worse. Now, Retrobit, who is a, another company uh, that makes old school control pads, is actually making a new Dreamcast control pad as well. They, we're going to drop a save here because why not? They are actually making a wireless one. The only trouble is it is in the standard kind of shape as the OG one, but with six buttons. Yeah, we'll download the map. And I do love, I love the Retro Fighters DC control pad. And I'm sure I've just been unlucky and got a dodgy one. You know, it doesn't matter how good a product is, you are, oh fucking hell, you are going to get defective ones. That's just the laws of manufacturing. Right, here we go. Now, after going back to the original, official Dreamcast control pad, and having my memory refreshed. Does my opinion hold up? Is the Retro Fighters actually definitively better than the standard Dreamcast control pad? Yes. Yes, it is. You can't even really compare them. In fact, the Dreamcast control pad, uh, the official Dreamcast control pad, actually feels like a cheap knockoff once you've been using the Retro Fighters. The only thing I will say in the official Dreamcast control pads uh, defense. You can tell the quality of the cable, the actual plastic rubber stuff. Ooh. How far did we actually get in the last video? Did we not properly explore the apartment complex? That's interesting. Well, there's Janine's room anyway, but we can't get in there just yet. Um, okay, well, Weedle's dead. Yeah, the uh, the actual cable itself. Oh, I hate this room. 
Now, okay, so we didn't go up here, but we went everywhere else. I remember right now. I remember. So this is the back door to Janine's room. We don't really want to come here just yet. We want to go up, down, and around. This bit is very strange. It's kind of a little bit all over the place. There's a hell of a lot of busy work, and there's a lot of key cards and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of work just to get Janine's rifle, let me tell you. However much work you think there is involved in getting Janine's uh, rifle, there's more. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. I don't know whether it's because the Retro Fighters has a cheaper plastic. Um, or if it's because it's just a straight up different material, a more durable material, a more modern material. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I really did find it quite strange that the official Dreamcast controller cable uh, actually feels much better. It feels kind of like a soft rubber, whereas the Retro Fighters feels like a hard, cheap plastic, if that makes sense. Now, again, that's not a knock because it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, the cable, but it's just something that I observed. Um, now, the high quality cable actually extends to all of the Dreamcast um, official peripherals. Like the mouse is very good as well, and the light gun all have the, the really nice cables. Interesting. Although maybe that mix of materials that they were originally made with, maybe it's a some kind of secret art or lost mixture. I don't know. And why am I thinking so much about a fucking cable? I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's go, Elliot. Let's go find some key cards. So we're about to do some key card hopping. Because that's just the type of game this is. We need so many key cards here. It's kind of redonkulous, actually, when you think about it. But we shall persevere. There's also a lot of tricky little areas. Full of annoying enemies. Okay, so we right. That's where we need to go because if we have a look, oh god, oh shit. How do I go into first person mode? Oh, there's two missing buttons on this control pad. Right, okay. So that's where we need to go. Christmas party. Okay. That's where all of the uh, shit went down inside this place. Uh, we have a dude. You right there, friend? Ouch. That's not very nice, my friend. That is not very nice. Please do not punch me in the face with your testicles. Your testicles? I was going to say your tentacles. What is going through my mind? Thinking about testicles. Oh, God, well, I'm not actually thinking about testicles. My God, I have high just dug myself a deep, deep hole of which I may never surface from. Uh, let's forget about testicles and think more about killing monsters. Let's have some more. Let's go for some small hassies, for sure. I've also taken to drinking my beverage, in this case, another Relentless, through a straw. Because I have noticed when... Um, I've edited videos back. You can kind of hear me gulping down drink in the background. It's not a very nice thing. To be honest. Bodily functions. Bah, who needs to listen to that? Right. So, Janine's room is actually down here. And I have actually just started using the D-pad. Oh, the D-pad from the official control pad. Oh. oh, it's not nice. It's not nice. It's so spongy and horrible. And this is a brand new control pad. Right. It's been used, I don't know, a handful of times. Because there was a time where you could readily available... Uh, it was readily available. Um, brand new Dreamcast peripherals on eBay. And I bought loads and unboxed them all. You do not have the card key to open this door. Oh, maybe this isn't Janine. Oh, no, no, this isn't Janine's one. No, that's not Janine's. That's the public area, I believe. Yeah, uh, Dreamcast control pads, brand new in box at one point, went down to like 4 99 And I bought loads of them. I think I bought four. Um, there we go. There's Janine's ID. Hi, Janine. It's Christmas. 
Upset because your ID card wouldn't work, huh? Well, then come on over to our party. Look, we played a little trick on your ID card. Otherwise, we knew you'd never come. <sighs> Love you from John and Nick. Bye bye. God damn it. Damn you. She's nothing but trouble. Hey, this ain't her fault. Let's go to the party. Yeah, gonna have to agree with Elliot there. That's kind of a dick move. Can you imagine, like, getting home after a long, shitty day at work and some absolute bellend that you work with has, has nicked your ID card and uh, locked you out of your own house and forced you to go to their party? Man, I would bestow my foot down on their bollocks so hard. Ugh. Right, okay. Have I mentioned that I'm uh, not a people person? Alright, there we go. I am very introverted, so that would have driven me mental. And probably flown me into a bit of a blood rage. Alright, well, let's go see what's going on at their party. I mean, I suppose if we have to go, we shall go and drink their booze dry. Ugh. Surprise, I'm here. Oh, hey, looks like we missed all the fun stuff. Well, we've got a Weedle. And I hope that's one of them that's been horribly mutated into a monster. That would please me. There we go. Get out of here. And dogs, you need to chill out when it comes to Janine. She's not that bad. In fact, she's alright. Nothing wrong with her at all. You're just jaded, dogs. You're jaded, and that's not a good look. Now, in this fireplace, there's actually some hidden goodies. Uh, there is an item we can get later on that will allow us to put the fire out. But we don't actually need to do that. Which is really freaking bizarre. And look what they're burning in the fire. 80 millimeter missiles. I, I have no words. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Well. Uh, they painted the room red, that's for sure. Yeah. And they got some more railgun ammo. I guess it didn't help them much. Now, if we go over here into the sneaky little plant pot. Uh, I didn't actually want you to climb on top of it, Elliot. But hey, you do you, man. Elliot, see the big flashing thing in the plant pot, Elliot? Could you pick that up, please? Elliot. Okay, I don't know why he's not picking it up. There we go. You don't actually have to get on top of that and stand on it, as far as I know. Elliot's just being a knob. So we've got Chris's ID card. Ah, okay. Let's continue through the back door. <laughs> the back door. Oh, dear. All right, come on, you. Yes, I know you're there. I remember you from last time. Luckily, this thing's pretty good against these dragonfly things. Now, these dragonfly things, I don't know what they're called. If we actually think back to the um, movie poster, there's a movie poster called Blood Bee, and it actually has a picture of one of those things on there. So I'm guessing that's a Blood Bee. And we have one of these strange bat-like creatures which we haven't seen since the beginning of the game. Uh, they were in the Hello Market. Quite prominent in the Hello Market, actually. But they're not that hard to kill, and neither are the Blood Bees. Now, I have a kitchen in here, and I don't really think there's anything in here. Oh, there's a hamburger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And John's ID card. Well, why don't I just shut the fuck up? Because I'm obviously to have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, so we've got John's ID card. I thought there was nothing in there. I almost wasn't going to go in there. Right, well, John... Let's go have a look at John's room, shall we? See what John's got stashed around here. As we can see, John is a bit of a otaku, I suppose. Likes to collect his uh, anime figures, I guess. Which is not too bad. He's got a pretty sweet collection, actually. He's got a lot of those bottled angels, although they all kind of look to be 
at least to me, the same one. Got interrupted there a bit. Right, uh, yeah. Looks like he's got some Avengers and some other weird things. Uh, Gaily. Looks like Predator mixed with a Xenomorph there. Hmm. And he's also got some tires in here for some reason. Now, on top of here is a living room key, which is what we really need. He's also got like the Hassy cardboard cutout kind of thing. Now, these apartments are pretty rubbish. I hope the rent's cheap. Yeah. I really do. Look at that texture on that on that wardrobe there. Almost didn't know what it was. Damn. I actually really like these apartments. They're really nicely detailed. For, for you know, for the visual quality we could expect from 1999. In fact, I would go as far as saying they far exceed by a massive way what we generally got in 1999. Um, there was some really nice detail in this game. Okay, so now we've got the living room area, and we also have John's, I believe. John's keycard. Oh, we got the white guy as well. Come here, my friend. Mr. White Jumper. There we go. Here's the cure to what ails you. I'm going to turn your ass inside out, boy. There we go. We are still going to grind for money, even though we don't really need anything. Well, that's not true. There are a couple of things that I do want to buy. Uh, I want to buy a big stack of hamburgers. Because that's the way we roll. Um, now, that's the way down. We don't want to go back down just yet. So I never really understood this apartment complex. I mean, I don't know if this is a Japanese design or an American design type thing. But it's not very common to have, like... A cinema in an apartment complex that I know of. But maybe I'm wrong. I've certainly been wrong before. I mean, technically, if you go outside of our front door and turn right, <laughs> we can see our cinema. But it's not actually in our building. I mean, our building's nearly 300 years old. Ooh, this chap was a bit of a... I don't know, I wouldn't say he's a bit of a gamer. I'd say he's more of a, a hacker or something. Yeah. Fair enough. So we found the party memo. Cool. And if we have a little look under here, we found a water gun. And the water gun I thought was really cool back in the day. I did wonder what we was going to use that for when I first picked it up. Whether we are going to get some kind of like acid spray or... Oh, God. Some kind of like really cool... Thing, or was it going to be some secret weapon that eventually becomes really powerful? Uh, but, no. No, can confirm it is a water pistol. But we need to go fill the water pistol up now. Mm, I cannot remember where we actually fill this water pistol up to, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that far away. There we go. Make it rain, baby. Mmm, money. Money. How much money do we have? Not bad. I think Elliot's going to come away from this pretty rich. He's not going to be that worried that he literally emptied his bank account on out on payday. Um... So, the communal area, or the living room area, whatever it was called, is down here. Now, what's bizarre is they give us a key, even though it looks like we need a key card. I remember that confused me when I first played this game. But I guess these security box devices can accept keys or, you know, key cards, whatever. They're not fussy, is what I'm basically trying to tell you. Uh, also, loads of money always goes out of those windows, which is annoying. So, the living room key. Do they have, like, a communal living room? Ah, no. No, 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 no. Do not want. Oh, right. Actually, this is what we did want, to be honest. Right. So, <clears throat> now we need the water gun. We can fill the water gun up here, like so. And we can then use that... To put the fire out. 
Now, if we read the memo that we actually got about the party, it kind of uh, spells it out to you what you need to, to do. We could go put the other fire out as well uh, in the party room. And then I guess we could have grabbed all the ammo and stuff in there. But we've already grabbed all the ammo and stuff in there. And I did go and test yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. I did go test and I made sure that actually the two boxes of rockets is all that's there. Uh, so we don't actually miss anything. Right, so we want to go to items, other, and... Somewhere. Living room key. Where is it? Where is it? Uh... John's ID, Janine's ID, condenser, stock room, meat room. I don't know why we just like a video card. I would like a new video card. I'd like an RTX 3000 series, please. Which apparently are going to be unveiled on the 2nd of next month. Work schedule. Ah, party memo. That's what we want. Nick, I will enter through the chimney in a Santa outfit at 7 o'clock. Please make sure the fire is out before 7. Thanks, John. Yeah, you probably actually want to put the fire out significantly before 7 o'clock because it will probably be quite warm uh, otherwise. And uh, let's just hope he doesn't want to take the piss and leave the fire going. Although that would be quite funny uh, to watch Santa slide down the chimney and burn to death. Um... I used to love this room, actually. So you've got like one shower shared by like everyone that lives here. That can't be right. That's weird. And look at the setup they've got in here. I used to love this as a kid. I was like, man, I want a nice component hi-fi system with some fat speakers and a huge TV. Look at this. This is actually really cool. Anyway. Ooh. Oh, we've got some nice little Christmas decorations here. This is, you know, it's actually quite a nice bathroom, if I say so myself. It looks quite cosy. Bath is a bit small. I like a nice big bath to stretch out. And, you know, a bath that can fit two is also fun. Um, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, the screw's gone black. That was awkward. Aha! Let's go kill this blood bee, shall we? Now, sadly... The blood bee isn't the biggest trouble here. In fact, the blood bee is the easiest thing here. Actually, no. I guess this weird mutated crow thing is actually the easiest thing. But look, there's something pulsing behind it. It's one of those really hard to kill, hard to hit things. <sighs> That's actually the best I've ever done against that thing. Now, the only reason we need to come up here is there's three chimneys. There's one, and I'm guessing if we go down there, the fire's actually still going, so we haven't put it down, even though there's no smoke coming up from there. I don't know what happens. I'm going to say, if we jump down there now, we will probably burn to death, or it might tell us that we can't. Uh, but we want to go down this one. And this actually takes us into Janine's room. My dogs is not looking very happy at all. What? 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 What is this? Huh? Mm. Hey, what's this? None of your business. Explain yourself, dogs. But this lady holding a baby. She's an Easter shooting instructor. How'd you know? Jean King, my ex-wife. Oh. Your then the baby is Janine, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're kidding. Oh, wow, the plot thickens. Yeah, you could say that. Why did you get a divorce? Uh, I, I forgot what it was all about. Besides, it was 20 years ago. Jean was so hard headed. She, she got sick and passed away. Crazy. I really feel for Janine. Look, kid. Keep your hands off that girl. <laughs> Don't try to run my life, dogs. What are you saying? <laughs> Let's go. Janine's waiting. 
<laughs> he gives us the hairy eyeball. That scene is just so out of left field, man. It's just... What the fuck? So, <laughs> what do you say? Uh, you keep your hands off that girl. Right, okay. So, so we've just found out that Dogs is going to be our future father-in-law. Um, apparently, Dogs got divorced from Janine's mum because she got sick or something or there was another issue there but he forgot what it was all about more like he just doesn't want to explain which is fair enough and elliot that's kind of a heavy question to just ask someone so anyway uh we've got the front door there which we can now use which takes us straight out and we can go out the back door which we actually first uh, went in. Now, Janine actually has not a bad apartment compared to all the others. Although it is a bit bizarre that they have these ginormous, massive, bloody um, fireplaces for such a small room. It's kind of strange. And they don't have like a bath or shower room or anything in here. Where'd you go to bust out a growler? Honestly. Anyway, let's go. We have what we came for. We've milked this place dry. And luckily, if we go out the back door... Ooh, that will literally take us straight back down here. So it appears that there's only three apartments here as well. Well, no. Yes, there's three apartments. Oh, God, this is hurting. Um, change. We're literally stun-locked into the corner. Dogs. 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 Pull us out of the fire, please, dogs. Um, okay, I don't think... Right, okay. Yeah, we're stuck. Okay, this is what we call in the business actual bullshit. This is typical blue stinger bullshit right here. Still, let's see if we can somehow... Get out of here. Oh, we're not going to be able to get out of here, are we? Okay, maybe maybe we will. Maybe we will. Oh, right, so we were almost defeated by terrible game design. And we might still be defeated yet. Oh, Jesus. Blue Stinger, everybody. Blue Stinger, everybody. That was... I would not have been happy if we died there. That was actually bullshit. It's a good thing we actually did have two characters. What a... What a bullshit thing, though. You come straight out of there and get stun-locked into a corner where there's literally nothing you can do. You just have to get lucky that you can interrupt one of their attack cycles. Oh, God. Activision. 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 All right, let's see if we can patch Elliot up. Although I don't think there's a lot left of Elliot. Uh, now, I want to buy some... Oh, God, yeah. Elliot was literally just about to buy the farm big time. Uh, items, food. Let's go for a large. Make mine a large. There we go. One more should do it. Good thing we've got all of these drinks, to be honest. Man, that was some shit. Ah, okay, I didn't think that was going to quite fill us up, actually. But Nope, that's good. Right, let's go grab up all of our money. You guys suck. I mean, what was that? Oh, I would not have been a happy bunny. I don't mind losing. I don't mind failing. I don't mind being sent to a game over screen. As long as it's fair and just. That was some bullshit right there. Okay. So, let's go back to Janine now. Actually, we're out of time. So... I might just go back to the Hello Market because what I want to do off camera, I want to fill up on hamburgers. 
Well, not necessarily fill up on hamburgers, but I want to get a few. And I don't think... can No, I don't think we can actually buy them in Janine's restroom type area. I don't think we can. I think we're going to have to go to the Hello Market. I know we can get sandwiches in Janine's room, which is okay, but it's not really what we want. Sandwiches, although they're better than large hassies, they don't really heal as much as I would like. Uh, we could top up on handgun, I suppose. Are we going to actually need the handgun? Um, yeah, maybe, actually. We might do. Okay, let's go to the Hello Market quickly. Might as well do it together. Now, this machine here, I believe, just sells ammo. I think. Yeah, it does. It sells ammo. Uh, do we need some shotgun shells? Nope. The shotgun's pretty crap anyway. I'm actually... I've definitely settled into that opinion now where the shotgun's just aids. There's a sh shop around here. What do you sell? Yeah, large hassies and small hassies. That ain't no good. I demand more. I demand burgers. Oh, God. What kind of burgers would come out of a vending machine? Should we just, like... Let's just not think about that. I mean, maybe they're like those Rustler burgers. Yeah. Ugh. Those microwavable burgers. Ain't that some shit? That's such a bizarre concept. Um, no, this is more ammo as well. Bugger. Well, I know we can buy burgers here. Because this is the hello freaking market. You can buy everything here. That leads to the back room. Um, toys. We've walked past... Ooh. No. The only weapon I think that we haven't shown off just yet, actually, is the club. And we'll show off the club. I might show the club off in the start of the next episode. This is like the pasta plates, I think. Uh, there, large hassies and docks in with a stun rod. Interesting that you can buy the stun rod there, actually, because I genuinely do think the stun rod is the best melee weapon in the game. It's not fast, as I've said before, but its damage output is great. Um, yeah, it's so expensive, like eight grand for the club. And it's useless as well. Ah. Oh. Right, let's load up on hamburgers. Let's just get a few. That should sort us out for the rest of the game, to be honest. Right, now what I like about the hamburgers is, is pretty self-explanatory, really. They are a one-use, complete full hill. For 160 coins. So they're really efficient, actually. Especially where I want to use them. Because where I want to use them, there is a horrible cooldown. Okay. Yeah, because obviously he has to drink the hassy and then throw it over his shoulder and all that bollocks, by which time you've taken more damage. Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it there. When we come back, um, we'll save it there. When we come back, I will briefly show off the club, if I can actually get the club to work, because it's a very hard weapon to use from what I can remember. And then we shall carry on as normal. And I think it might be the final video next time, which I'm happy because that's another game done, but I'm sad because I really, really love this game. But hey, nothing lasts forever, am I right? So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.